Nelson, played by Nelson Bonilla, spent the majority of his time in Ozark as the Navarro cartel's trusty and cold-hearted hitman, with a list of victims including names like Helen Pierce, Janet McTeer, Ben Davis, Tom Belfry, and Sue Shelby, Mary Louise Burke. In the fourth and final season of the Netflix drama, however, he met his demise at the hands of the returning Rachel Garrison, Jordana Spiro, following orders from a panic truth Langmore, Julia Garner. But following the circumstances of his death, a number of the Ozark fandom have begun to question why Nelson put himself in Rachel's sights, to begin with. To recap, Nelson had been hot on Ruth's tail towards the end of Ozark season 4 after she and Rachel became an obstacle in the Navarro cartel's laundering scheme through the casino. After using a loophole in Darlene Snell, Lisa Emery, and Wyatt Langmore's, Charlie Dehan, deaths to bag herself the casino from under Marty, Jason Bateman, and Wendy Birds, Laura Linney, noses, Ruth was determined to run the casino her way, not giving Marty the free reign he once had. However, this, of course, was met with a less than welcome reception from the Birds and Curtel, with Nelson even tracking down Rachel and holding her at gunpoint under the orders of Wendy. Rachel caved but Ruth wasn't as easy to budge as her new business partner. So much so, after growing tired of being tailed by Nelson, Ruth drove to the police station and went inside to deter the hitman's warning. When she emerged, she noticed Nelson's car had vanished and she instantly jumped to the conclusion he'd headed to her trailer where Rachel was staying. A panicked truth rang Rachel and urged her to grab a rifle and shoot Nelson upon his arrival while she drove at high speeds back home. Rachel didn't have time to even put her shoes on and took to the roof with the gun before shooting Nelson moments after he arrived and stepped out of his car. With Ruth already planning an overhaul of her living space, she buried Nelson's body at the bottom of a new pool. Although Marty was quick to work out what had happened after the cartel had been alerted to his absence. However, the idea of Rachel shooting Nelson and Ruth working out he was heading to her trailer has left some fans convinced the storyline doesn't quite add up. Suggesting there's a plot hole, Reddit user and Ozark fan at Chunk82 said on the forum site, I'm sure I'm missing something here, but why did Nelson show up at Ruth's trailer and go after Rachel in the first place? He had already threatened Rachel previously from the back seat of her car, and she seemed to have gotten the message. Camilla didn't know that Ruth had killed Javi at that point. And Nelson knew Ruth wasn't home because he had followed her to the police station. Was the cartel planning on killing Rachel in order to send Ruth a message? To get her to play ball with the money laundering? The questionable storyline also baffled fellow user at Always Featherine, who weighed in, definitely confusing. Was the plan to kill them both? Was he following Ruth to kill her but then she went inside so he was like okay I'll save some time waiting for her to get out and just go kill Rachel? Or was just gonna wait for Ruth back at her house? But when he pulled up he got out like he was on a mission and Ruth wasn't there yet so he was gonna kill Rachel or search the place or something. Sick, Nelson's motives are certainly up for debate given the show has now come to a close but given the number of questions raised around it, it certainly has left fans confused. After all, Nelson has spent his entire career meticulously evading enemies and law enforcement to become one of Mexico's biggest cartel's most trusty hitmen. So why would he have been so careless as to get himself killed by Rachel who admittedly had never killed before? And what was the point of him heading to her location in the first place? Ozark seasons 1-4 to are available to stream on Netflix now.